I had a lot of comments in my previous Sydney Christmas reaction and analysis video saying that I should have probably started at the beginning of her Britain's Got Talent journey, which is a very good place to start, according to Julie Andrews. <laughs> Alas, I did not. I did the rebellious thing and I started at the end. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer Glatzofu, but you can call me Jen. I'm a singer and a voice teacher. And yes, today I will jump right back to the beginning of Sydney Christmas's journey on Britain's Got Talent. This will be her golden buzzer performance, her audition of Tomorrow, the song Tomorrow from Annie. I needed to word that a bit differently. <laughs> I will be looking at and breaking down the vocals of Sydney Christmas performing tomorrow her audition song for Britain's Got Talent. As always, this is a reaction and an analysis video, so I will be stopping and talking about the vocals. If you'd rather watch the full thing uninterrupted, I have left the link to the original video in the description below. If you are taking a look at my description and notice that you have not yet hit that subscribe button, please go ahead and do so. If you're obviously liking the content that I'm providing here. <laughs> it really does help out the channel and boost my channel to more viewers. And if you are enjoying my content over here and want to support even more do consider checking me out over on patreon lots more stuff happening there but let's get to sydney christmas performing tomorrow she's not performing tomorrow she's performing right now for me because i'm gonna watch it it's not funny just stop the joke exit the joke early <laughs> i'm exiting i bet you can kind of see me wanting to say that and thinking don't do it jen it's not as funny as you think it's gonna be but i did it anyway <laughs> Okay, I just want to say I did watch the uh, opening. I'm going to obviously for the purpose of this reaction and analysis video, I'm jumping straight to the uh, song here, the performance so we can break that down together here. Watching it for the first time with you, but I just watched the opening. <laughs> I love her personality. I love how she doesn't take anything seriously and Simon's over it. <laughs> <laughs> I love at this point that we know she won as well. This is just really fun to watch. The fact that she's chosen tomorrow and Simon's like, good grief, get over it. And <laughs> she's, uh, the whole Merry Christmas. That's just brilliant. Right, let's get to it. Or as Sydney Christmas said, let's have it. Let's have it. The sun will come out tomorrow. Let you bottom dollar there tomorrow. There'll be sun. Just thinking about tomorrow clears away the cobwebs and the sun. Oh, I love her eye contact. It's like, it's so important to just, oh, they're loving it. Um, She went from this such bubbly character having like comments with everything. It just felt very, uh, just someone being themselves on, you know, let's just go see what happens. Very chill. She had a moment of like, right, I need to actually focus on the song. And then we get this similar to, obviously I've watched the, uh, if you want to go watch my reaction analysis to Somewhere Over the Rainbow, go ahead, it's on my channel. Um, but yeah, similar to what there, this kind of rounded, vintage -y type feel to her voice. It's very of the golden age musical theatre, but with a current pop-esque feel to it because she's including like different changes and little rundown, not too much, but just being like, oh, I'm putting my own spin to it. I... So yeah, I love her eye contact. It's very still, very purposely put. And so is her phrasing. Let's just go right to the beginning because she's really just like taking it all in. Uh, looking around, taking it all in, the pausing between, it's got this lovely flow to the song, but she's pausing in between certain words and it's just it's so unique. The sun will come out tomorrow. Let your bottom dollar there tomorrow. Can you hear that? Like it's right back, sunken back in her voice, but then bet your bottom dollar. Like she's kind of mixing it around this kind of area. It's really, it's just like really lovely and settled within her space. It's magical. The diction's really great as well. We are getting completed words. But there's like a slight uh, slide up to that note as well. Tomorrow, 
I love her. There's a little bit of a breath there. It just means that she's really connected to the words in the sense that she's really connecting the like her story. She's putting her spin to it, her story to it. And some lovely warm vibrato as well. Tomorrow there'll be sun Just thinking about Tomorrow, a little bit more connected there. The sorrow, like, I love how she leans a bit more on the because this is a change from the melody that we do know. The sorrow, like, she comes, she is like opting up a little bit. <laughs> um, till there's, but as she leans on that word, there's a little bit of a pause till there's none and then she kind of says that again it's very connected to her speaking voice um in the sense that the phrasing everything's connected everything's coming together there's a slight breath occasionally which is why when we're getting a bit more of a fuller moment like we did at the beginning of this phrase it felt a little bit more fuller because otherwise at the moment she's kind of got this continuous breath through her oh, vocals clears away the cobwebs I'm stuck with a day that's gray and lonely. I just stick out my chin and grin and say, Oh, the sun Ooh. will come out. Oh. oh, my God, I love that. The sun will come out. <laughs> a really lovely, soft approach to that uh note there where i thought i felt like it was going to go a little bit stronger but i loved how we remain still in this lovely soft head dominant quality which is really lovely i just realized that amanda holden is obviously done musical theater as well with shrek and other things that my mind cannot think of right now um so she might be enjoying this for her own musical theater background reasoning i love that and That was so beautifully connected up there in a thinner quality. We're getting lovely vocal fold closure just on that note. So she's playing a little bit more with re resistance within her vocal folds. Building as the song progresses, how are we going to change? We can see Simon Cow being like, hmm, hold on a hot second. I think I'm enjoying this. Hang on till tomorrow. Come what may. They must be like family, right? That's, oh, that's so cute. Um, Yeah, again, we're building, we're building a beautiful mix here on the tomorrow. We're getting a lovely A ah vowel. If we're going, she, uh, you know, I talked about having like the rounded dark vowels earlier. Oh, kind of going on this O. Oh. If we're going tomorrow, it would go into this, that kind of thinning quality. We wouldn't get the same sort of brightness that we're getting here or get that blend that she's after. So I like how she's opening a little bit slightly to a to tomorrow. Um, such a seamless like transition up there on those notes. We're not hearing any sort of changes. It's so light. It's not heavy at all. Love that. And then going into that head, more head dominant uh, voice on the two. Notice how she, again, she also drops it. It's not two. And I can't think if that's the right note. We'll go back to it. But she's kind of going to a uh vowel as well. We're going to get, if that feels comfortable, go for it. But I love how she is just opening that a little bit to let that voice quality ring out. Come on, that diphthong as well, so subtle. May. She's actually in this E, May, 
May, there's a diphthong, right? She's actually in this E placement already, which kind of brings this brightness. And you can also hear that she is quite breathy in that note. So May might be too heavy, might be too chest uh, connected or, you know, this eh, calls for it here. So that's, it, it just works really well. The choices that she's doing are very thought out and smart. Come on, May. So delicate. The sun will come out tomorrow, but your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. Just these sun. This is a dark, like. <laughs> No, she's really holding on to it. She's also closing on to the mm part. Sun. I love how she's taken this musical, classic musical song, um, making it her own with all these kind of different note changes, different, like adding runs and riffs and everything that you wouldn't necessarily hear. But she's not overdoing it as well, uh, which sometimes can happen because we, you know, we just want to uh, go everywhere. But I like, you know, she's just delicately placing it where she feels it is necessary this is also it's an audition so she wants to showcase her voice if it was sung like this in the musical it would feel very out of place um that's a whole other conversation adding riffs and runs in actual musicals uh but this is a an audition and she is showcasing what her voice can do this is such a great arrangement as well it's just it's it, i love that she's brought i'm pretty sure she did not sound sing like this sing this arrangement at four years old. <laughs> so this is great. There'll be sun Just thinking about Tomorrow Clears away the cobwebs And the sorrow To there's no When I'm stuck Oh, that's so cute, Sydney. Um, again, going into the ah vowel, we saw a little bit of a stretch and showing of the teeth as well. Just really allowing now the thicker folds to kind of come up a little bit, stretch them out a little bit. Not heavy at all. We've got the support of a lighter quality to help us in that bright twang and ping to let that voice soar. It's so well. She's doing a little bit of leaning with her body as well, which is great because that means that we're engaging our core. We're not just, you know, reaching up with our neck our head up we're kind of leaning back so everything is still you know we're not limiting where and what our larynx and vocal folds want to do in order to achieve that note and that kind of quality on that note Simon Cowell's like okay fine she's this is, I'm enjoying this This is built, sorry, I know I paused in a, a, such a horrible time then, and you're like, Jennifer, no, full naming me and everything. Um, he's like, oh, this is how we build up a song. <laughs> I love how the beginning was kind of like, okay, cool, yeah, pretty singer, oh, a little bit of a run, oh, yeah, delicate voice, like, really pretty voice. Now we're really showcasing a beautiful connected belt here as well. On that, my um, chin was the word, my, that was a lovely chest dominant mix there. Then at the end, we're getting quite, we're bringing up that thickness, kind of similar to the, the end of Somewhere Over the Rainbow. We're kind of remaining in this thick quality. That feels good for her. We're really using our arms and our body to kind of anchor and support that note. And I think we're not ascending beyond that point. So that makes sense to, to stay in that sort of quality. But yeah, on that, my chin, that was probably the most theatrical part of this. At the moment, I mean, it's very, you know, I I love that she's bringing her own spin to it, but you know, there's like ah, every I'm just loving this. That's and that elo me. Look, look at that grin. Look how open her mouth is. If we're making a big sound and we kind of like 
secret like closed and we're like oh why am i why is this a little bit of a okay let's just notice what the mouth is doing how can i help myself to project more without having to like push and strain just drop that jaw great everything is now on this open drop down feeling God, everything is on this open air placement. I love it. There is so much wine in her voice now. She's bringing a lot, a bit, lot of that emotion that she's feeling into the character of the song, and it's actually helping her feel anchored, feel supported, and feel get that right resistance within her vocal folds. When we are kind of crying on top of the notes, what happens is we're just eliminating the amount of breath that can go through the vocal folds first, and we're just kind of allowing them to, when they vibrate to create, create sound, they're vibrating all the way and not leaving any breath to come through. And we need that in order to belt. As she's getting a little bit higher, she is activating a beautiful chest dominant mix belt there's it doesn't have that same like reach and pull up she's really just like landing on top of these notes letting that whine and she's also kind of holding onto the mic as well which just means like is a bit more anchored and supported to like hold on to something yeah I, I love how she's really using this emotion to feel supported and drive her through this section of the song she swaps between like an ah uh and an oh like notice, I think, was it on the actual word? Air, very chest. The sun will come out. So out is where she then throws it forward. And I love how that's at the end of the phrase. The whole beginning part. The sun will come. This is like a controlled yell, right? That's essentially what a belt is. It sounds beautiful, but I love, uh, you know, she's using this speech-like quality and just bringing it up there without having that heaviness and reach. Then she completes this uh, phrase, the sun will come out, as she needs to have that support. She can't just like, ah, <laughs> and then like leave it up there. Oh, she finishes this phrase by activating a bit more of a mixed quality, inviting a little bit more of that twang to guide that uh, volume and just a softer kind of touch so she doesn't feel like she's just th throwing this word away ah like shouting up there it needs to be still controlled so i love how that happens at the end of this phrase let's just continue and see if we can pick out and hear a little bit of the difference it's really subtle because it still all sounds really really full but she has a continuous swap between really chest thick folds and then a chest dominant mix where it's a little bit lighter a little bit more uh controlled and just i don't want to say the word supported because her chest belts are still supported it's i just love how it's purposely put at the end of the phrases or at the top part of those notes because it just shows that she knows her body she knows that those notes need a little bit more support so they don't feel like they're being reached there you go to more really lovely and whiny row and she goes on this ah to the tomorrow part and <laughs> she goes a little bit sinks a little bit more thicker again so i love how she's just navigating this all of the beautiful mix chest on the belt Can you hear how in order just uh, to really hold on to these notes, she needs to make sure that she's supported. Again, if we were just reaching up for the thicker folds, we're going to feel like we're reaching because we have to hold it in a in an area that our voice, um, thick folds is where we speak, right? I'm speaking down here, not up here. <laughs> so I need to be doing something else if I want to hold on to that note. <laughs> so I'm going to activate um, my twang to help me. And include that resistance, include that wine, so I really feel supported and grounded and on top of that note. Love it. I love it. I'm loving it. I love that note as well.
well, I just decided to do an advert right then. Breaking up. That wasn't even me who broke up that phrase, okay? I love how we get this big dynamic choice in this middle, just before the ending. And then I think on the two, we were still quite um, a full sound, still lovely in a chest dominant mix. Ma! Then when we got to the ma -ra, beautiful in a first a head dominant mix, completely switched. I love that. And then we start increasing our breath input. Oh! And look at this space. So effortless. Oh, that was such a breathy finish. I was expecting it to go up, but that was so much more impactful by, you know, just away. really spoke like really whispery. I love how they put the somewhere over the rainbow. Um, Oh, let's watch this last part. I want to see it. <laughs> and that was the best version I have ever heard in my life. So I'm going to do this. Ah, it's Amanda who does it. That's cute. <laughs> right, I just wanted to see her getting <laughs> the golden buzzer. Um, lovely. I'm really excited. I'm sure I'll watch the her performance to my way soon, and I'll pop it here as well for you. Like I said, like just how quirky and bubbly her personality was, kind of always having something to say, naturally funny, and then just being like, "This is my voice." <laughs> <laughs> that was really nice. I really I really enjoyed that. Well, thank you very much for watching this reaction and analysis video. If you did enjoy it, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, the bell button, and the thumbs up button, and go over and check me out over on Patreon as well. And I'll see you very soon for another video. Bye!